lovies, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I couldn't decide what to call it. It's kind of like my most worn items, but they're all quite staple items, so I didn't know whether to call it wardrobe staples or something like that. So it's kind of a combination of the two. I don't know what I've called it now. Possibly most worn items, who knows. But yeah, I saw a couple of YouTubers do these uh, in the last couple of months, and I really, really liked it, and I do have items that I literally live in and if you know me these items that you're about to see you literally see them pretty much every day because they are my most worn items and they're my staples in my wardrobe because I'm quite boring when it comes to clothes I'm not very adventurous so yeah I'll just get straight into it they're not going to be in any order I'm just going to go with how I have them laid next to me so the first thing for me for most worn is definitely my Jamie jeans from Topshop these are blue ones I also have a pair of black ones I live in these jeans. They are ridiculously comfortable. They go with everything. They fit perfectly. I just love them. Like the denim is really nice as well. It's really soft denim. It's stretchy, really, really flattering. And I just really, really like Jamie jeans. And I'm going to say that a lot in this video. Just to warn you, I'm probably going to say really like a lot. These are the ones with the holes in the knees. I have got a pair of blue ones that don't have the ripped knee, but I tend to reach for the ripped knee ones more just because I find them a bit more, I find them more comfortable. Don't really know why, but I do find ripped jeans more comfortable. But they're just a bit more interesting than like your plain jean, in my opinion, anyway. So yes, definitely probably like the top of my list is Topshop's Jamie jeans. Next most worn item for me is definitely a woolly cardigan. This one is from a company called Hearts and Bows. It was from a shop that we used to have in Cambridge, but I cannot remember what it was called. Um, no, cannot remember. But I literally, I honestly, I live in this cardigan. I throw it on in the mornings, I throw it on during the day, I throw it on the evenings. Like, I live in it. And again, it just goes with everything. Like, you can throw it over a nice summer dress, you can throw it over the top with your jeans. Um, and it's just really comfortable, it goes with everything. This one's got little pockets on either side, speckles um, throughout the knitting, and then like little brown buttons all the way down it. And I'm just obsessed with this cardigan. I absolutely love it. It's really warm, like in spring autumn times when you don't really want to wear a coat, I tend to throw this on. Um, just because it's so comfortable and it keeps me warm as well. So definitely a most worn staple item for my wardrobe. Next for me is definitely my Converse. I've lived in these ever since I got them. I think I got them like a year, year and a half ago maybe. And I'm obsessed with them. I'm actually quite proud as to how white I've kept them. I'm impressed. But yeah, living these, again, perfect to go with a little dress or to put with your jeans or to wear with shorts or anything. They literally go with everything. I want to get, um, these are the, like, the slim ones, the thinner ones. I'm not a massive fan of high tops, to be honest, but I do really like these ones. And I really want to get a pair of navy blue ones for this summer. But these are definitely, if we're going to go down the staple for your wardrobe route, <laughs> these are definitely a must-have for me. You can just throw them on and they'll just make any outfit kind of just look that little bit more cooler. Not that I'm saying I'm cool. I'm really not. But yeah, I really, really love Converse. Next is my fossil bag. This bag fits my whole life in it. It's a navy blue kind of colour, like a petrol navy blue kind of colour. I think I did a what's in my bag with this bag. So I'll link that down below if I did, and that's not a lie. But you have the long strap, and it has a short strap, so it's perfect to kind of carry on your arm or throw over your shoulder. It's, it's like a really good size. It fits everything in, but it's not like massively oversized, it doesn't get in the way, um, it doesn't get too heavy because you can't put too much in it. Does anyone else have that problem when they get a bigger bag and then they put their whole life and someone else's whole life inside it and then it gets really heavy and you have to carry it around all the time? Nightmare. This bag's just the right size for your own life and nothing else. But yeah, I live, I've live. i lived with this bag. I've had it maybe just under a year. Yeah, maybe just under a year. And I've lived in it. I always find myself reaching for this. Or like, I'll change my bag up and use another one for a couple of days. But I always end up coming back to this bag. Absolutely love this bag. The leather's ridiculously soft as well. Yeah, nothing else I can really say. And lastly, the probably most worn item for me within the last couple of months is my leather jacket. Again... It goes with absolutely everything. You can wear it with anything and it just works. It's really comfortable, really soft leather. This one's from All Saints, I got it for Christmas. Um, but any leather jacket, I mean I've got, this one's kind of your normal length. I've got a cropped leather jacket that I also really like. I just think you need to have a leather jacket in your wardrobe personally. And I have just been living in mine and I don't like to take it off. Does anyone else really like the smell of leather? Like I like to smell my bag and I really like to smell my jacket. Mm. Just because they smell amazing. 
and that, and those rather, are my most worn items and staples I think you should really have in your wardrobe just because they're things you can work from so you can build on them um, to do anything. So let me know in the comments below what your most worn item is this season. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you are new and I will see you in my next one. Bye!